If you want to employ people, non-British passport holders, then we think it's perfectly reasonable that you pay a premium on national insurance. So actually what you should pay is national insurance of 20%, as opposed to 13.8%. It's about a 45% increase. We think so that was one of the political leaders in the political parties here in the UK. And what he was basically stating was that companies, organizations who are recruiting foreigners, immigrants, would be paying a higher rate of tax fee. Initially, the rate was about 13.8%. Um, That's what com the companies pay for tax fees. But now, saying those that are um, recruiting foreigners would be paying 20%. Like, that's a very huge increase. And it's just a way of saying, we don't want you guys to recruit foreigners anymore. And definitely, that would be a very huge issue for immigrants those that are not citizens yet because basically they said they want their citizens to be getting most of these jobs so i'll be discussing extensively on the impact of this new policy here in the uk the impact on students and immigrants in generally and also i'll be sharing the full video of this clip just so that you listen and understand better what they are trying to pass, like the message they are trying to pass and the impact, whether it be positive or negative, just that you listen and understand for yourself. Also, if you are new in this channel and you see my video for the first time, my name is Joan. I am a Nigerian currently studying here in the UK as an international student. And on this channel, I basically share tips, useful information of how to get jobs in the UK, how to survive here as an immigrant, if you're planning to come over, things to do, things not to do and all. I share useful information just like this policy that was just released. I share like useful tips for you guys just so that you know what's going on here in the UK. Okay, if you're here or if you're not here, if you're planning to come and all. So basically, this is what I do on my channel. So if you feel this is something that will be useful to you, please do not hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So that being said, let's get directly into the video. So it's election period here in the UK and um they are all going about thinking of how to go about the voting process and everything. I know how it usually is. We have different political parties coming out with their manifestos, what they would want to do, what they feel would be useful for the country, what they can, policies that can be impacted that would probably push the country forward and all. And um, from the video we just watched from the beginning of um, this video, you saw the clip of one of the political leaders stating that henceforth the best way to reduce the rate of unemployment within their citizens is to stop not really stop is to increase the um tax rates of companies that are recruiting foreigners immigrants just so that in a way they would have to stop recruiting these foreigners and they would recruit only their citizens to be working in these organizations these companies and all and now the funniest part of this whole stuff is that most of these citizens that they say they are fighting for they they are fighting for to get employed and all they actually do not want to work that's just the honest facts most of them do not apply most of them they, they they are not even if you attend um uk universities and all you discover that you see majority of those who going to the universities are international students we have very low percentage of their citizens going to school applying for jobs and all reason be that they already have lots lots of benefits as citizens of uk like me being citizens of uk whether you're working or you are not working you are earning on a daily basis like it's normal so tell me for the average youth that probably you don't want to stress yourself you don't want to work too much you don't want to do this and that you already been paid by the government so why would you want to work that's their mindset so like i said the fact is that most of them are not even interested in these jobs most of them are not applying you see most um organizations most companies that um recruit most of these um immigrants foreigners and all they are recruiting those that really applied and those that were qualified for the job 
definitely they won't say okay because you're a foreigner that's why i'm recruiting you it's because you applied and you were qualified for the job if probably their citizens were more qualified for that job there is no way they would be giving these jobs over to foreigners so i really feel in a way personally i don't know i feel the policy does not really make too much sense because it's just a way of saying we don't want foreigners anymore and the ones we have we don't want them to be employed just like we just want them to go anyhow they should just go because this policy now will not only affect students or those that are just coming into the uk even those that have been in the system those that have been working for some time for a while and probably they feel in a way i'm getting stable here in the uk i'm like getting steady like my grounds are now balanced somehow somehow it will affect everybody because now these organizations that have already recruited these um um foreigners these um immigrants and all they would have to review like do like a, another form of screening probably um those that um they would have to drop those that because i don't know it's really really anyways maybe just maybe let's see how it goes maybe there would be other policies that would probably be put together to help make this make more sense because just um last week here i was talking with a friend of mine and she was explaining to me that one of her friends that already got a job like few a couple of weeks back with um, an organization here in the uk he's like a black and immigrant as well and they've already sent him like a confirmation letter of the job like the job was already secured and everything and only for him to receive another email from them like two weeks back stating that and they would have to go back like they they can no longer accept him because of some terms this i already know that in a way it's more like this is already playing out like this is already playing out and it won't be too too nice because what are they trying to say you you, you know that you have immigrants in the country and you are saying that these people should not be employed then how do you want them to survive how do you want them to Go, like push forward right so like i said hopefully maybe with time there will be like other policies that would be pushed out as well that will probably make something like this softer because if nothing is done trust me it's really going to affect a whole lot of people like a whole lot of people so i'll be playing the clip the uh, video the full video clip right now just so that you listen for yourself and understand what exactly they are trying to say so what we need to do is we need to incentivize business to say actually if you want to employ people from overseas that's fine but you've got to pay a, pay a price for it an employer immigration tax because actually we want to incentivize you to employ british workers now Big business will say, oh, come on, Richard. British workers don't want to work. To which I say, nonsense. Before the era of mass immigration, in the 1980s and the 1990s, British workers were working. And we had real wage growth. So maybe, actually, it's you, big business, getting away without paying a decent working wage. So what happens is that Big business makes ever bigger profits because ordinary workers receive lower wages. And here's basic economic theory. Literally since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the basic economic theory, it's A-level economics. If you increase the supply of something, the price of that supply, in this case wages, labor, the price of that goes down. Whereas if you limit the supply of it, Guess what happens? The price goes up. And if businesses say, well, I can't afford the wages, then guess what happens? They invest in capital equipment to create more productivity. But our investment in capital and productivity is falling. It's a disaster. And the reason is, it's too easy to be addicted to that drug on every street corner of cheap overseas Labour. So how will an employer immigration tax work? Well, here it is, and it's actually very straightforward. Look, if you want to employ people, non-British passport holders, then we think it's perfectly reasonable 
that you pay a premium on national insurance. So actually what you should pay is national insurance of 20%, as opposed to 13.8%. It's about a 45% increase. We think that is a perfectly reasonable premium to pay. Now, of course, there should be an exemption for very small businesses, five people and under. And of course, there should be an exemption for healthcare and social care. That's the right thing to do. But here's what will happen. This will actually change people's thoughts and behavior. We believe over one electoral cycle that this employer immigration tax will raise over 20 billion pounds. Varies, of course, depending on how quickly employers adjust their recruitment processes. But 20 billion pounds in one electoral cycle. Now, you might be pretty astonished that Reform UK, known as a party of creating high growth, reducing taxes, making work pay, you might say this is a bit unusual. Let me tell you what it is. It's fair. It's the right thing to do. Because what we need to do is we need to invest in apprenticeships, in young people, in training, in employing young people, in motivating, in developing. All of these things that have disappeared because there was no incentive for business to invest in young British workers. This is the right thing to do. It's the fair thing to do. Now, I know lots of people will say, hang on, Richard, you're going to destroy growth. No, we're not. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. I hope you found it helpful and you found the information helpful as well. If you did, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Drop your thoughts, like your thoughts on this whole new policy stuff. Drop them on the comment section. And most importantly, guys, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel just so that you'll be the first to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Till we meet again, my name is Joanne and stay blessed. Bye.